Five plays, 50 yards in two minutes and 44 seconds. Eric Garcia to C.J. Kukas from 20 yards away. B-Diggers lead 14 to nothing. That was a fourth and 17. The B-Diggers converted on the pass from Garcia to Kukas. A five-play, 50-yard drive. B-Diggers took advantage of great field position. Godden has to kick it off. And this is a line drive, low line drive. Bounced a couple of times. Picked up at the 15 by Ross. Running to his right across the 25. Spins. And he backs his way across the 30 to the 34. Stay tuned at halftime. We'll be going through our B-Digger diary. Lots to talk about with B-Digger softball, B-Digger cross country, and volleyball as well. We'll also get into what the... Eighth grade team did a couple of weeks ago that we neglected to mention last week. So a very busy halftime show for you right here on 1010 as well as KSIR.com. Strasburg with 849 to go in the second, starting at their own 34-yard line. Dave Amazing, the B-Diggers, threw the football for the first time. We'll talk about that in just a second as well in this game. Shotgun formation for Wallace. One set back to his left. Two-step drop. Pass up in the middle. It's going to be incomplete. Off the hands of Schlegel at the 44-yard line. B-Diggers defended that well with C.J. Kukas. Brush ran 23 plays on the ground before their first pass, Dave. And now, as I'm sure you're going to know, that has to get into Strasburg's minds defensively that now the B-Diggers have a passing game with that one big play through the air. You bet. You know, they've they've had nine guys in the box trying to stop the run, nine or ten even. Now they're not going to be able to do that anymore and have to start thinking about the pass a little more. Under center is Wallace. Trips to the left. This will be a pitch left to Ross running left. He's got a seam to the outside, and there was one man who needed to tackle him. It was Tanner Morrow who did at the 37-yard line. It's a gain of four yards, but here's the thing. If Morrow doesn't tackle him, give him three yards, third down and seven. There was nobody out there for Brush. No, Strasburg did a great job blocking that play. They sealed off our defensive end on this side. They got wiser. They sealed off our, our back. Both of our linebackers, Rosenbrock and Seawold, neither one of them could get out there. The only person that could make a play there was uh, Morrow, and he did it. Nice play by Tanner Morrow. Third and seven for Strasburg at their own 37. Trips to the right. One receiver to the left. Wallace in a shotgun. Now in motion to the left is Jordan Ross. Naked backfield. A step, a throw. Deep over the middle. The pass is caught by Schlegel. Inside the 45 to the 40. Tackled by Eric Garcia. It's a gain of 23 yards and a first down for the Indians. You know, it was just about a five or a seven yard post route where um, the receiver just took off and planted his right foot and headed right for the field goal post and Wallace hit him right on the money. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety. The brush grocery cart. First down and 10 for the Indians at the B-Digger 40-yard line. Brush leads 14 to nothing, 7.40 to go in the second on a six-yard run by Joe Rosenbrock and a 20-yard pass. On first and 10 for the 14. There's the give. Left side to Ross. Across the 40 to the 38. It's a gain of two. Connor Weiser makes the tackle. It'll be second down and eight to go for the Indians. You know, it's, he had to go down. There's only four diggers that weren't in on that tackle, and everybody else, they slammed into him. It wasn't just like a whole crowd of people running in there and grabbing a hold of him. Everybody come in there throwing shoulders. Morgan County's largest variety is the brush grocery card on second down and eight. Wallace in a shotgun. Nobody in that backfield. Two out to the left, trips to the right. And Wallace really hasn't taken off with the football, so expect a pass here no matter what. Two-step drop, looking right. He'll throw out that bubble screen. The pass is caught, and now the ball is fumbled, and it's uh, covered up by the Indian who caught the football near the far sideline. The reception was made by Michael Eldridge, the 6'3", 160-pound senior. And the gain is only one. Now we're looking at third down and seven. Maybe closer to eight at the 38-yard line. And just a hitch pass all the way. You brought up that point about how Wallace hasn't run the football. It's kind of amazing he hasn't with the success that Eaton had against Brush last week. They tried that one draw early. It wasn't a quarterback draw. It was a fullback draw, but that's about it. Shotgun for Wallace. Third and eight from the Brush, 38. Nobody in the backfield. Ross is in motion to the left. A little bit of a high snap. Wallace throws it over the middle. The pass is behind the intended receiver at the 25-yard line. Intended for Tater Weiser. 
But it's incomplete fourth down, and you would think now, unless Strasburg really wants to put Brush in a hole, that they might actually go for it because they have receivers open in this game. Schlegel was overthrown along the far sideline. That receiver, although fairly well covered, a good throw would have given Strasburg a first down. Yeah, but in Walsh's defense, he's thrown three passes that were all, you know, in the hands of his receivers. They dropped him. No doubt. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's doing a fine job. Fourth and eight from the brush, 38. They'll go for it. Nobody in the backfield. Ross in motion to the left. Two-step drop. There's the pump. He'll heave it up the left sideline. Wide open is Ross. The pass is caught at the 11 to the five touchdown. No beat digger was out there on fourth and eight from the 38. The Indians convert. They're back in the game. Brush 14, Strasburg 6, and both teams on their most recent possession scored on fourth and long. You know, it was one of those plays where Brush was kind of manned up on him. It was a mismatch as Weiser usually plays a defensive end, and he's a weak, he was a weak defensive end in this 5-2 in that situation, so he had to walk it off into sort of a passing you know, he had to play sort of a passing position, and, and uh, he was just mismatched against their fastest guy. The extra point is up, and that one looks good from here, and it is good. It's converted by Spencer Blau. 5.51 to go, second quarter. Brush 14, Strasburg 7. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.